Perhaps it was the drama surrounding his birth, but Taishan, the first giant panda born at the National Zoo to survive more than a few weeks, was a child star from the very beginning. A bank of cameras has captured every move, transmitting them to his adoring public via the zoo's website. His first weigh-ins and doctor's visits, his first halting steps, and his first outings. His mother would go and pick him up and pull him down, and she would be like, I said no climbing. But now, at four years old and 184 pounds, <laughs> Taishan is all grown up, and the zoo's contract with China requires it to send any panda born here back to his ancestral home. Oh, boy. For weeks, his longtime trainer has been getting him accustomed to his specially made travel crate. He's so flexible and so adaptable. We think he's going to do just fine. How are you doing? I'm okay. I have my moments. This is the only home Taishan has ever known. And while everyone here is sad to see him go, they know that the main goal is the perpetuation of the species. And the only way that can happen is if healthy young males like Taishan head back to China to breed. At last count, there were fewer than 300 pandas in captivity, just 1,600 in the wild. It seems so cruel to take him away from his mom and dad. Well, he has never been with his father. Pandas don't live in family groups like some other animals. So today, like a foreign dignitary whose visa has run out, Taishan was taken by motorcade to Dulles International Airport, where he and another panda from Atlanta were loaded onto a FedEx cargo plane for the 14-hour journey to Chengdu, China. It's sort of like sending him off to college. Right, yeah. <laughs> Except we won't get him back. But they might get another baby panda. Taishan's parents, not content to be empty nesters, are now trying to give Taishan a little brother or sister. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.